Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel, A Square Pillow Isn't Square, the place where you will learn anything and everything about home deck sewing. Uh, I recently did a little video on how to put an invisible zipper in a plain pillow, and so I thought as a follow-up I would show you how I put an invisible zipper in a pillow with welt. I'm sure there's lots of ways to do it, and there might even be a better way out there than how I do it, but let me just share with you the way that I do it, and I'm going to show it using two different kinds of feet on your sewing machine. So let's get started. All right, so you've got your front and back of your pillow prepared with welt on one side, and I've marked the top of each side of the pillow with a pin so I keep my direction correct. And now you're going to lay your pillow pieces right sides up, bottoms facing each other, lay your zipper in between the two, with the zipper right side down, so the wrong side of the zipper is up, and you're going to make corresponding marks on your pillow and your zipper about two and a half inches in from the edge and in the center. Sorry. You're going to put your zipper right side towards the table and press open this little roll so that the teeth are facing downward. You don't want to press the teeth. And just with the tip of your iron, you're going to press out that crease that's making that zipper tape roll. So now we're going to do the other side. All right, now that your <laughs> zipper tape is pressed open, we're going to turn it over, right sides together towards the pillow, take this side on the right, and we're going to line it up in two different directions. One is lining it up this way with our mark, but the other direction is how are we going to line it up vertically on the welt. So this is really the hardest part of putting an invisible zipper in a pillow with a welt is knowing where on this edge to put the teeth of the zipper so that when it's all finished, the zipper is as close to the welt as you can get it. And it's not where you think. So you may think you just lay it flat on the pillow and push it up against the welt, but actually that's not a good spot because if you sew it right there, let's pretend I'm sewing it right there, far enough away where <clears throat> my zipper pull is still going to have room to run along those teeth, when you turn your pillow right side out, you, you end up with a really big space there. So the, right, the best place to put it is actually what seems to be up on top of the roll, like that. Not all the way up in the center and not on the bottom, but partly up on top of the welt. So it's going to be right about there. I found the, the way to consistently get the closest is with a welt foot like this. So if you have an industrial machine and you have a welt foot, you're going to actually put the welt and the zipper teeth underneath, oops, sorry, knocked my camera, underneath this foot, up on top of your welt a little bit, put your needle down. You're going to let the welt and the zipper teeth run underneath the groove of your presser foot. So let's start. We'll do, and we're going to kind of pull that open while we're sewing. Do a couple back tacks. And so we're going to kind of hold it open and hold it up on top of this welt a little bit. Like this. It's going to want to slide down and you can't let it. And then when you get to the center, make sure your marks are lining up. You can use a pin if you want to. When you get to the end, make sure your, your marks are lining up here too. Give a couple of back tacks. Alright, 
So let's see what we've got. I always test it too before I do the other side. So is it that zipped closed pretty tightly? And I'd say that is a pretty good application right there. See that? You still want to make sure that you have a little bit of space so your zipper doesn't get caught on your welt or on your teeth. But that's really nice and close. I'm going to do the other side with a zipper foot for those of you that don't have a welt foot for your machine. When you're using a welt foot and you line up your, your pieces and you put your welt foot down on top of everything, it kind of helps clamp it all together. I found with a zipper foot it wants to pull it off more easily. And so when I'm doing one with a zipper foot, what I'll often do is line it up to the point where I know that I want it to be. And I want it to be lined up on my, uh oh, my disappearing ink pen mark disappeared. I could just barely see it, it's right there. So I'm gonna to wanna to line it up that way and I'm gonna wind it, line it up sort of rolled up a little bit onto the welt. And then what I do is I just sort of make a note that that point right there where I know I want it to ride is, in, in my case, it's an eighth of an inch from the edge of my welt fabric. So I'm going to put a little pit in there. I'm not going to get real close this time. This is going to be a two stitching line method. I'll put my needle in right on my mark, do my little back tack. And then what I'm going to do this time is pin my tape on with about that same, <coughs> excuse me, that same distance from my, the edge of my welt fabric. Let me see if I can show you a little better. So when I placed it exactly where I want it, it was about an eighth of an inch away. So I'm going to start by sewing or basting my zipper without worrying about getting close. I'm just going to line it up about an eighth of an inch away and just baste it on. Stop and start on your mark. Alright, now that that's in place, it's right where I want it. It'll be much easier to go back and stitch close to my zipper teeth. And you can just sort of, now you can just hold it away and your tape isn't going to go anywhere. I mean, that's pretty good when that zippers when that pillow is put together that's going to be close enough okay so now I've got my zipper foot on my machine I'm going to open up my zipper like that I've got the back of my pillow cover here's the top so here's the top here's the bottom you can see my little marks I'm going to put this right sides together and just to show you how this is going to look. We're basically going to be unrolling this and putting these pieces right sides together and lining up our marks on this piece. So, and at this point too you have a good frame of reference to see how far away your zipper tape was and you're going to want to go about the same distance away. In fact, if any of my marks got off, so see how this mark isn't quite exactly lined up? I'm going to mimic that on this side. I'm going to pin that exactly the same so they line up.
Okay, so now my zipper foot is on to do the other side of the cover with no welt. And I'm going to do the same thing, just unroll it a little bit. You want to be close, but not so close that the zipper gets caught in your teeth. Stop and start at your marks. And now before I finish my pillow, I'm going to close the zipper and make sure I like how it looks. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's pretty good. So now I'm going to switch back to my welt foot here on my machine. Alright, so I am going to turn this over so I have the welt side on top. I'm going to line up my corners, line up my little marks, and pinch Pull the zipper tape away, like that, and just pinch your fabric right where your stitching stopped and started. You'll be able to feel, feel that really easily and put a pin in there. Do that on the other end as well. I'm just going to put my corners together here. That marked my top. I don't need that anymore. corner. Pull this zipper tape out of your way. Pinch where you stopped and started stitching. And before you do this next step, make sure you reach in there and open this up so you can get inside to turn your pillow right side out. Okay. I'm going to get that out of the way. Put my needle down right where that pin is. And do a nice, a nice strong uh, back tack here because it's a stress point. Stopping and starting on that mark. And sew your pillow closed. Same thing when you get to the end. Pull this out of the way. And just carefully sew all the way up to that pin and back tack. There you have it, an invisible zipper in a pillow with welt.